his captor decide to repay him for the years of suffering he's provided. All right, we are recording. Same. Large dragon looking to be caught for once. Oh, woe is him when his captors decide to repay him for the years of suffering he's provided. Probably in, like, gold, right? <laughs> I only restrict no-list stuff. First one on the list is anal prolapse. I... <laughs> Young, well-endowed coyote herm so, looking to have fun with anyone who comes her way. So just looking at the things at the very top of the list, anal prolapse is a no, but anal vor is a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Did I mention she was a dominatrix who gets to predicaments where she is summoned, submitted by her client? Her issue that makes her so vulnerable is the fact that she can't control her own bodily functions, and by coincidence has to wear diapers 24-7. How the fuck is that a coincidence? That's a direct cause and effect, you stupid bit. The worst are the ones that are like, they have like multiple characters on their profile. And they're like, you can pick any one of these to do. And it's just like, bro, <laughs> just come on. Seriously, there's like a picture, a drawn picture of a, like it's, it's this character's a pink coyote, clearly female. And then there's a picture of her making out with a purple raccoon thing, but he's jerking her off because she has a dick. I hate this website so much. Oh, I gotta click on well-hung Doberman's profile. Zelina. That's a given. Her, uh, nose include no picture, musks and smells, age play, and trannies. Her maybes are Germans. <laughs> Oh man, this guy's gotta be low. Circumventing on his no list is circumventing ignores. I don't ignore people often, but when I do, please be an adult about it. And don't switch accounts to bish me out. This is harassment, it's against the rules, and I will report you. Hung and horny, dude, busty pigs. Dude's just looking for looking some for clean, some safe rough, fun, man. <laughs> some rough and raunchy, sweaty play with eager slut. <laughs> well, who isn't? Alright. Say it. Oh shit. <laughs> From a marketing standpoint, I feel these people that put their ads in the click to read more things just are doing themselves a disservice. Because how Same. many people are actually going to click to read more, you know? Just because you take it up the butt does not make you a femboy. Just because you are not rippling with muscle does not make you feminine. Please, stop flooding me with is he girly slash am I girly enough. If you have to ask, generally it's a no. Fucking gaijin shit. Prey species is under favorites. So is mice. Really, though? Uh, this person is just writing about their character intertwined with all the World of Warcraft lore. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lore master. Like, I hate that I know this, but like, a as I go to another paragraph, it's like, yep, that happened next chronologically. Okay, <laughs> so you're just, alright, whatever. Young, sweet, corky girl looking for fun, loves to use her tongue and stuff. Situations I'm looking to RP. You're an adult female furry, anthro or quadrupedal, and sapient. God damn it. Wanting a dragon to mount you and happen across me. You're an adult cunt boy and seek the dragon for sex. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> and don't mind him initially mistaking you for a female. After all, dragonesses of the Virtuian dragon race don't have breasts, so it's an easy mistake for him to make. <laughs> so easy. You're an adult female yeah, you know, cunt boy, or an effeminate male of a hooved furry species. <laughs> Show the dragon heaven in the form of a hoof job with those sexy black hooves. The possibility <laughs> of oral sex as you caress his shaft is greater if discussed prior to starting the hoof job. Oh, okay. Hyax is a 17-year-old lizard in the prime of his life, having just moved out of his family's home. He lives in a small apartment that he can barely afford. <laughs> He's a lizard. Openly gay and a little feminine at times, Hyax has a hard time making any real friends. Of course he does. Normally just coming across people who want to pound his ass and then leave him leaky for hours. Oh my god. Like, it was totally normal until, like, it's a hard time making any real friends. Normally just come across people and pound his ass and then leave him leaking for hours. Like, how did you get there? <laughs> Hayek's biggest secret... Oh, this is the diaper lover one. Okay. Just like his desire to find a loving daddy, same. Oh, 
Oh my fucking god, this guy's picture. Holy shit, I'm putting this in fucking mumble. <laughs> Invisible sec. God, just look at his picture. You don't have to look at anything else. Well. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, uh, have you looked at the other ones? That's of fine. course I have. Okay. <laughs> uh. Sexually liberated town is optional resort town where men fuck openly in public at the bars and in the bathhouses. What the fuck? Anyone out there interested in the alternate version of my character? Please, by all means, read my profile and PM me if you'd like to RP with one of the different versions. Aw, oh, you are desperate. Gordski. <laughs> Have some fucking dignity and self-respect. <laughs> it's the best. Tomboyish and bradish herm lichen demon hybrid. Looking to play in a school setting. Characters would be 17 to 18 years old. <laughs> How do you not wash the stink of des- your it, IRL stink of desperation from your F-list? Like, <laughs> I'd play just... my character who surprises you was masturbating in the toilets and sex would ensue. My character turning yours into her little bitch. <laughs> Greetings, Wolfden here. Looking for a good time. Then, all species and sexes welcome. I got all sexes and body types of wolves for your liking. If you like, I can also do feral. So Happy like, face. what does? How do you RP Feral? If I'm reading that right, are you just like, grr? <laughs> it's like, just job and best speak the whole time. Just rawr, rawr, rawr. Faves. <laughs> Any combats in all caps. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these like I click on these profiles and they're just too daunting because it's just wall of fucking text. There's so many, like, fucking... God, I, I'm so tempted to add these people on Skype just to see if they have, like, their real pictures up there. <laughs> <laughs> there anyone some... need... Dominant men, women, herms, anyone need a girly, sissy little mouse boy who sells their body to pay the bills. Feral running, breeding thrusts, spanking, bondage, pegging, public sex humiliation, it all flies this petite mouse boy whore. <laughs> <laughs> I will be blunt. I really want a femboy or a teen lass to get down on her knees and suck my hard wolf prick nice and detailed for a good long blow. Heh. <laughs> if any of you fit the bill and want to get your mouth filled, please hit me up. Same. Cock milking. I love to be milked like a cow. Moo. <laughs> Outfit on her no list, MLP, Pokemon, Disney, etc. No, seriously, no. I like mature scenes. I'm not the childish play. Like, you're on a website about fucking anthro creatures fucking each other. The <laughs> childish play is somehow out of reach. Question How does a Femi Mouse Boy kicked out of his home without any references and not a whole lot of qualifications make enough money to pay rent for an apartment? Answer With a lot of cocks in his ass. Okay, so. <laughs> God damn it. Cheryl Montgomery, uh, if you click on her status here on her profile, in her no list, you, you go down, it's pretty much how are you, blah blah blah, boobs, diapers, but then you find IRL autism slash Asperger's. <laughs> I respect you and your condition, but I don't want to RP with you. Please be honest with yourself and me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, what a man. message here to check her fucking privilege. <laughs> Mm-hmm, fuck, Sick. you're such a tight little whore, said the older donkey, roughly hitting into the young mouse's ass, <laughs> making the little thing wince in pain with his big, powerful heart knotted into his hair, holding a few $20 bills in there at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> like, the writing is, like, there's so many, like, goddamn <laughs> grammar errors. It's so funny. Like, like, honestly, I think there's more comma splices than orgasms on this site. <laughs> Which is saying something somehow. Dominant Krogan <laughs> on the lookout for new playthings, be it a slave, pet, urinal, cum dumpster, or perhaps a breeder. All species and genders are welcome to apply to get to serve this Krogan in his every need. But please, do take a look at the page before sending a PM with any questions you might have, Get if you're interested in servicing him or if you're bored and just want to talk. He's looking forward to hearing from you, and hopefully even more so. God, there's so many comma splices. This is unfucking believable 
Like, this is actually the thing that bothers me the most. <laughs> Somehow. I still laugh every time I see sitting in a dank seaside tavern because spent a gathering of the dank brotherhood. <laughs> it's just everyone's furry. <laughs> Yellow and black male dragon looking for a female playmate tonight. Willing As to discuss scenes or, if desired, just straight romping. <laughs> As of April 21st, 2013, I am pregnant with a litter of four pups. And it has a link to the father's profile. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. We're getting too deep now. <laughs> no or no. Looking for a cock-crazed bitch who spends most of her day sucking and fucking all she can? Then look no further as this whore wants to do nothing more than fulfill your nastiest, filthiest, dirtiest of desired fantasies. Tell me what you're really aching and craving for. We just might be able to put something really nice together. Let's see what our favorites are. Three plus penetration is the first one. That's great. I think this might actually be a person. Yeah, it's just some anime bit. Doesn't even have a cock. What the fuck's wrong with her? There seems to be a lot of the uh, the interracial BBC stuff on here. Like, I don't know. Like the friendly bad black doctor slash slaver. Yeah, I'm That's on his profile favorite. right now. My huge cock wolf master is fucking me, his huge tit pregnant wolfess, at some, <laughs> some fucking club. All over 18 are welcome to watch him destroy every single one of my holes with his monster-sized red canine cock. We are <laughs> serving drinks and snacks along with the show. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's oh. always some, like, goddamn non-sequitur that gets me every time. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, how does the mouse boy pay for his bills? A ton of cocks is that? What is that? Every time. Aw, Lady My Tara's bored. My huge board. ass is filled with this thick yogurt-like cum and his plug bag huge one-foot round plug. <laughs> oh, God. Let's, uh, let's go to sluts, whores, and cum dumps. <laughs> what? One of the private. Welcome to the room for all you lusty traps, dirty whores, slutty furs, trampy humans, cum dumps, cock sleeves, and heavily hung monsters. <laughs> this is a room for anybody who just wants to make a complete slut of themselves or be on the receding end of cum crazed whores. Everything goes, even the crazy stuff. Violence is heavily frowned upon, however. How do oh. I? How do I find this room? Like, Big like, muscular human knight looking for sexy gay fantasy fun. And they God have like damn. a hierarchy in the room. You have the room owner, and it like leads to a profile. The mods, the bartenders, the entertainers. They have open slots for entertainers. The bouncers, the DJ. Waiters, though. They have none of those. Why haven't I made a Jerry Sandusky profile yet? Dude, that's a, there probably already is one. It just there. came to me when I saw incest. Anyone so, interested so in how do I... a 13-year-old boy? How do I change, like, to these chats? Like, I don't know how to find them. Go up to channels. Oh, oh okay, God, here we go. So many. Oh, holy shit. Oh, what's happening? Pregnancy and impregnation, let's go. And, and like, they load the channel. 70. You can be in multiple channels. Oh, like, this God, this site is really put together well. It's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> let's Literate just suck that player. girl cock. And I'm in. You what enter through the main here? doors of the club with an aroma lingering around your nose. The hair on the back of your neck rises. Goosebumps raise on your skin. Your whole body shivers in anticipation. You've never been more turned on in your life. What that aroma of girl cock does to somebody. <laughs> on the main floor that you enter is what you would expect from any fancy club like this. A stage towards the back of the room with three different poles for anybody to have some fun on for the crowd with various chairs in front of the stage for people who love to... Hey, God. Just the, the sentences are, like, hard to read. <laughs> oh, Daddy is looking for a very naughty and sexy little slut of a girl today. Have you ever dreamt about slobbering all over your own daddy's big, meaty cock and riding him like wild, milking him for every last drop of his hot, sticky cum and send me a PM? <laughs> <laughs> the best part is his name is Big Daddy, but there's three D's because it's obvious Big Daddy was already <laughs> taken. Well, he's he's got a no on the anal prolapse, so oh, looking good oh. so far. No chubbies either. That's just fucking useless. His favorites are multiple orgasms, though, so 
He's, he, you know what? He just wants to please. <laughs> Andrew Davies, who goes by the nickname Big Daddy, is your average father. Except for the fact that he has a problem. He can't help but imagine late night fucks and strip teases from beautiful, <laughs> curvy young women. Oh, but did I mention, this woman is usually, not always, but usually his daughter or even daughters. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can hear your pain, like, trying to read it. Because it's so splot. He's that dude from Game of Thrones. Oh man, this dude has a link to clublexybell.com in his profile. <laughs> God, whoever gets paid to draw uh, this shit must be so fucking rich. Uh, seriously, there's so much, like, just of the most random fucking commission They're all requests. Arts. Yeah, they're commissioned. Plus, for facial destruction. <laughs> Big Daddy says no to bats. Now, are, is that like baseball bats, or like the mammal? Bats are mammals? Yeah, dude, bats are mammals. I really, I wouldn't have known that. Nipple fucking doesn't hold any appeal to me. Part of that is because it suggests that the player thinks nipples have an opening in the center where milk comes from. That's not how nipples work. Like, that's your <laughs> biggest complaint. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Love this game. Same. <laughs> this game. <laughs> if it's not a game, then what? Then it's something far worse, and I refuse to accept that. Felly is a lithe little female kitten, all too often finding herself with an older, larger, and quite rough in bed partner. So it goes without saying that she'd enjoy the company of another that would match that description. Hmm. It goes without saying. They're so indignant. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> How dare you not, not adhere to my extremely specific and bizarre oh fetishes? God. Oh my god. Eiko Suzuki was born in Tokyo, Japan, and was three when her family moved to America. Now living in California, she lives with her mother and older brother, Takashi Suzuki and Eiko Suzuki. She's mostly a shy girl that has a love for swimming and books, though combined they don't work out too well. That was all one sentence, by the way. <laughs> her closest friend is a American girl named Anna Lee, who's pretty much the polar opposite of Eiko, being active and outgoing, though completely terrified of water. Despite the differences, the two of them are closest friends, to the point that they have begun to experience experiment with each other. The two of them have started to become sexually active with each other to everyone but her brother Takashi. Eiko has been sexually active since six years old. Oh my god. Has Though this person was... ever met other people. Like. So it was only with her older 16-year-old brother. Even though Takashi was a heartthrob for the people in his high school, he rarely gets close to a person, much preferring his little sister and her best friend. The only thing on this person's no list is condoms. <laughs> this long hard goat meat is craving for your warm moist lips to lock around it and to stretch its girth through that warm rounded bubbly butt this of yours this long hard goat meat <laughs> every fucking time <laughs> this is some seriously sticky lore And oh, it just oh, keeps man. popping up. It's like every two seconds there's a new one. It's insane. <laughs> A sweet, youthful, married mother of two would never think to betray her loving family unless she's seduced, taken advantage of, or otherwise pushed over the edge by some young, strapping stud that wants her for himself, looking for cuckolds, young, cocky boys, exotic foreigners, hunky anthros, MLP ponies, aliens, <laughs> and other weird things that might want to break her faithful ways and knock her up, forcing her husband to raise their beautiful bastard children. <laughs> So, there's so we can never run out. We could do this all day, all night, 24 hours a day, and never run out. It's beautiful. Oh my god! <laughs> it's the best idea for a reality show since McGarity House, which was our <laughs> idea for a 24/7 webcast that paid our rent of just us <laughs> fucking with each other in the house constantly, fueled by donations. <laughs> what the fuck is a yote? Coyote. Yote herm. Coyote. I gotta learn the lore. Well, I had to click on. I saw that specific one. And I had to click on the profile to find out. I'm not that much of a lore master. On the lookout for others who would enjoy the company of a rather large, strong, and well hung star dragon. What the fuck is a star? I'm clicking. I gotta know what a star dragon. <laughs> By curious oh, virgin don't click it. Boy. and anthro. Oh, one don't click it. Oh my god, there's paragraphs. Oh, those pictures, dude. Don't click it. Oh, you clicked it. Oh. 
Which like, one? What am I? Like, what am I clicking? <laughs> the, the, the star dragon. <laughs> Where, where's the? I don't see the star dragon. Ruck. R H U K S O N. One of his favorites is uh, Glisten slash Sheen. Enjoys having a nice glistening sheen on his smooth hide and fleshy bits, like after <laughs> bathing. Normal like or a given a tongue fire bath. hydrant. Like his dick <laughs> is like the size of a redwood. Stop being greedy. <laughs> By default, I'll be I'll only be playing one single lioness per roleplay. Never both with the same. They don't exist to be treated badly, used, or be cheated on. I have to save oh. this picture. This picture is too amazing. The one, like the, <laughs> the giant horse or the giant dragon cop. <laughs> the, 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 just the way the dragon looks. It has, it's like this giant. Which room is the dragon? I can't find it. Oh wait, never mind. There it's it is. The, the yeah, ro the original one. Look at the size of its head compared to the rest of the body. Like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's literally like it looks like a fucking fire hydrant coming out of a redwood, the, the trunk of a redwood tree. It's fucking huge. <laughs> His head is so tight. It's like inverse Alex Barrett. Well, he's not just based off of the world of Kirby. The Star Dragon possesses a few of those abilities himself, such as the inhale ability and chance to do the copy ability stuff. <laughs> a lot of normal furniture and other such things are definitely in danger of breaking, smashing from a huge guy trying to <laughs> use them. Even stuff more specifically crafted for him may still creak and bow from the weight of the beast, perhaps still susceptible to failure at some point too. How is this in your favorites? I don't understand how that is... <laughs> how? I can see the potential for Vor with the inhale ability as well, chuckles, and will admit that if so, <laughs> he normally deals with softer, less realistic sorts, as in no real gory type eating and such. God damn it, what's wrong with you? Humor What's the silliness. final name on the Star Dragon picture? Humor silliness. <laughs> What's the humor being fucked by a cock that's bigger than a goddamn tree? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, oh man, this is great. God, the, 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 fucking, the fucking 12 foot tall bear lion wolf hunters is back. <laughs> yes. That's my favorite. I really want to talk to this hypnosis experiment, dude. <laughs> no, but, you like, know. just, just no, roleplay it as Nescas. Look, but don't touch. Faye Halfling here, looking for a dominant character for Force, Non-Con, Leash and Collar, and Hair Pulling. There has to be Hair Pulling. I will not come without Hair Pulling. <laughs> a sweet, youthful married mother of two would never think to betray her loving family unless she seduced him. Oh, you already read this one. Shit. Yeah. The MLP point. God damn it. There's just so, oh, there's so many. Yeah, Who wants got, to talk dirty in, like OOC? Bored rhino, but <laughs> ah shit, Maria Madalus got in there before I could. Same. <laughs> Bored rhino, but <laughs> that's the best two two words combined of all time. <laughs> Bored rhino, but oh, his pictures, a oh, god. It's Holy awful shit. too. Because read the the very last line of the thing that's not in, like the spoiler tags. <laughs> the right of gear is humanoid, a decently sized plump pair of balls hang under an orange shaft that can reach a decent girth and link average to his size. Like he can't even give himself a big fake cock. Oh my god, those <laughs> images. Oh my god. Oh, oh the second oh, one. The second oh, was the fuck. best. He's got like all the fucking. <laughs> no, look at the last one. Look at the fourth one. Holy shit, dude! Look at the fourth one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a, I'm a pretty prancing sex rhino. Look at me. Uh, I don't know. The second one's pretty good, man. <laughs> second <laughs> one's great. If only for like like the the cutaway of his dick off to the side. <laughs> Humanoid, Humanoid anatomy. anatomy. Three hoof nails. There has to be three, and I expect you to reference this in your RP. <laughs> Tis, but unironically. Yeah, who is friends with this person? I to, oh, he's got like 80 friends. Holy shit. He's got way more friends than I do. Damn. Oh my god, he's got so many friends. I'm a gay autistic virgin. Shit. Puts my life into perspective, really. Oh, well, here's a fucking boar as a cowboy. Who's this? Roland Bovine. Oh, yes. 
What you need to know is I'm a big horny bull out to fuck and very occasionally get fucked. The rest of the letters will just say hi to the sheriff. Are you, are you reading this? Are you reading this as if you're he of one letter? I has mostly muscle with a bit of good on him as well. Yes, of Yosemite, he of one letter. <laughs> what is this thing? Alright, let's click it. <laughs> the last time I said that, uh, that was a bad time. I went to f -list. Unstoppable radical shark lady from Tulip City. <laughs> I didn't have a good childhood, though my adolescence was fucking hardcore. I'm big into kickboxing, big explosions, and awesome music. Don't you dare get me near an electric guitar either. I will rape the shit out of you with it. <laughs> well, I guess... If you think you can tango with an F-16 on steroids, then come talk to this black mamba. <laughs> oh my god, ever, this... <laughs> ever since he was a little child, Dre has always been larger than most people. At age 13, he was as big as a fully grown man, and now he's almost a giant compared to others. At age 22, Dre is now a bartender that works at Club Bandwich for his demonic boss, Zerus. <laughs> His profile is it's completely in Club, club Bandwich, literally. This is Club Bandwich. Uh, how do you post a link in uh, Mumble? Just in the uh, the little chat window at the bottom on the left. That profile is all in Leet. But like, weirdly. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Jesus oh my God. Christ. <laughs> is that fucking like, elvish language? I have no I'm, clue. I'm a bisexual girl with no preference on gender, save for no, no cunt boys. Boy. <laughs> it always comes fucking back to the cunt boys. boys. <laughs> it always ruins everything. God, Love them or no hate them. Nothing has been more, uh, more dividing than the cunt boy. The only things you can't have are born condoms. So perhaps you're wondering, yes, mate, he has a lot of form. So what? I want a real character, not just some kind of sex doll. Well, sit down, shut up, and get your cock out. I'm getting to it. <laughs> These are all real things that real people type. For one, and perhaps the most noticeable feature about him is that his junk is huge, like massive. <laughs> You'd think, how would the other boys know? Oh, trust me, they found out. But perhaps <laughs> something about him that you'd have to act look for to find as well, right beneath his big old balls in the space, right, right before his asshole with a big fat pussy. You know, he looks around as a man cunt in the way behind his bovine ball sack. And it was the most common reason for him to be teased. It was also his most common tool of revenge as he forced the other boys down, grabbed their throbbing pricks and forced them to fuck his uh. drooling pussy until he came off and slipped in. Oh my fucking god, I'm crying! <laughs> this is the best thing. I love Submissive the internet. human male looking for gender transformation <laughs> and training to learn how to behave at his new... He just he <laughs> wants to learn how to talk to girls. <laughs> fat pussy! <laughs> And a man cunt hiding away behind his <laughs> I can't breathe! <laughs> Holy shit! Pulsar is a hyper hunk, slutty northern cardinal who loves flirting around dirty talk and casual sex. Cardinal isn't the bird? <laughs> yes! This is, I'm gonna post this in every, every game day topic involving the Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> Pulsar is an uppity bottom. I've really become less and less interested in being a doming because of the poor quality of 95% of the subs on here. Sorry, guys. I'd really just rather not do that. At the very least, I'd like a mutual scene. <laughs> I'm so snobbish about this fucking bird person. Okay, <laughs> Leonard Steele has some very important notes in his profile. One of them is, I am not your boyfriend. I will never be your boyfriend, OOC, and don't think for one second that I am. My phone number is a privilege, and if, you, and if you think you have the right to get upset if I don't text you back, you are wrong. I'm, I'm so confused. Do these people give each other their phone numbers? Look at the picture. Just, just look at it. <laughs> it's <laughs> taken a long time to load. I'm so excited. Uh. Just look at it. Just look at it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it loaded so slow. Oh, my Lord, God. His fucking balls never stopped. <laughs> So, 
Nico, um, you've just been fucking my cunt for the past few hours, and just as you found yourself climbing to the edge of climax, the condom breaks, you bust a complete nut in his pussy. You're panicking, holy shit, can a male Herm get pregnant? Let me tell you this now. Yes. You fill that pussy <laughs> with your baby batter, and chances are you're gonna have a pregnant bull on your hands. There's hope for you yet, though, as, being the druid that he was, the act of stopping a pregnancy before he even conceives is as simple as a wave of his hand. Seriously, wow. that's it. So bust a nut in his snatch as much as you like, it's okay. Why are we even bothering with a condom anyway? Now, there's always the possibility that he might have forgotten to turn his womb off, and Tarah would find oh, himself geez. carrying oh someone God. else's child. What happens then? Well, as embarrassing as it may be for him, and it was embarrassing, he was a man for fuck's sake. The Tarin's <laughs> stomach would soon bulge, and within a day of big, fat, juicy udder would form. Yes, a cow udder. Stop laughing. He was already embarrassed <laughs> enough about it as it was. What was perhaps I even more embarrassing, laughing. though, stop. was the fact stop. that he fucking loved it. His swollen teats were extremely sensitive <laughs> from an overproduction of milk and they brought almost orgasmic shivers down his spine. Heck, he even had blown his load before just from having his udder sucked on. So get to work, bitch. Take Take care of the father of your child. <laughs> hey. It's so beautiful. To all Smith as a part-time student at a local college where he currently studies French. He has been bi-curious for a long time, ever since his ex tried to get him together with another boy. <laughs> now he's looking for another male to explore that field with and maybe, just maybe, get a boyfriend. Aw. I'm so, I just can't, nothing could ever surpass, fuck, <laughs> so, you've just been fucking my cunt for the past few hours. It's the best thing. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. This is usually related to the previous Mpreg kink, but it definitely doesn't have to be. Basically, he likes laying eggs out of his cunt, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. This tends to be the case when he fucks with an egg-laying animal, such as a reptile, as his womb will change itself to match his mate. Sometimes it forgets to change, however, and he'll even lay eggs for a mammal, however ridiculous. Sometimes he even just lays <laughs> eggs because he damn well can, fucking himself with his fat cock just to produce admittedly infertile eggs. This he uses to well. his advantage to make some eggs for breakfast. <laughs> some nice pussy eggs. <laughs> 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 This is the best. This is the best this, podcast ever. These are all ever. the same guy's profile, by the way. <laughs> this is the greatest thing I've ever read in my <laughs> fucking life. This is literally the best podcast that's ever been made in the history of mankind. This lustful, sexually driven demoness slash succubus is fueled off the desires and lust that any male herm she male, really anything with a cock that can provide her the fuel that she requires in order to survive. Her body is so well-toned and finely curved, it would seem that no person can even resist the temptation to stare. It'd be so easy to make those cocks flare. Human form is mainly used to blend in, though she does rarely use it, and only for special occasions, if it's ever asked or requested of her to transform. There's a hint. Any other time she stays in her demon form, blah. These people have boring profiles. So we're uh we're running at thirty three minutes here. Should I stop it? Hello. Um, I mean it's up to you. Like whenever you want to stop it, stop. It. But I don't think we're you know slowing down anytime soon. It's your call. I'll keep it going then. You know how sometimes you just really gotta fuck something, like, really bad? Well, take that feeling, knock it up to 11, and that's how the Tarin felt when he was in heat. The need to have his pussy filled and for him to carry some big fucking studs children just completely overwhelms him. And by fuck will he get it. It doesn't matter how straight you think you are, your cock is going to be piercing his cervix in the next 10 seconds, no questions asked. That's cool and all, but I just found Sexbot Model Dragon, so... Oh, I, I, like, I wanted to read that, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this to someone else, because I have a glorious <laughs> tar in to read. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Oh, there's so much, it's like... Uh... Here's 
Here's, uh, here's Sexbot Model Dragon's features. Please note the features are also programmable. So, Modable and controllable living latex body, which can be morphed into any shape, including tentacles or cocks. However, she cannot change her overall draconian shape. Given that her entire body is made of the living latex, she has no internal organs. The living latex is also a type of solid goo, which allows her to make her orifices fit like a glove around anything that is pushed into her. The living latex secretes a liquid that functions as saliva or pussy juices. She can control how thick this liquid is. The liquid is edible and able to be swallowed without ill effects. A Damian alloy armor. Indestructible. She also has a tank in her body She's made with bones? holds cum. <laughs> she absorbs her partner's cum if they come on or in her, allowing her to store it and use it at a later point in time. All the cum she stores is infertile. She has a high level of intelligence. She can, of course, use any commands in her memory banks at will. She will adapt to any name you call her, and she will adapt and be able to use any hardware you give her. Oh. And now we have pictures. Big buff stud of a Taran druid looking for other well-hung males and cunt men, or anything with a cock if you're interesting enough, for some wild bull riding. Muscle guts and daddies preferred, though not necessary. Would like to get dommed, or for a nice sweaty mutual fuck. The kickier the better, i.e. bondage, water sports, and hy hyper scat, anal vaginal ure urethral fisting, <laughs> anal and vaginal prolapse, breeding and impregnation, <laughs> cock fucking, lactation and milking, and more. Semi-para at the least. Come on, boys. Not afraid of a little pussy, are you? Don't keep me waiting. This bull needs some nasty fucking. God damn it. My Rat. name? You don't really want to know my name, do you? You just want your meat between these buns, don't you? You can call me Foxy. It's not much, but you'll need something to scream when you're reaching climax, won't you? <laughs> Ragnar Sharpfang. Tits. Large tits, small tits, the bouncy soft things. If you got a pair, ladies, just visit the wolf. He can give him a good massage and relief from the stress of the long day. Come on, don't waste your time. Wink. <sighs> Fucking inter- Fucking internet. Hey, Sexbot Model Dragon is inside Suck That Girl Cock. Same. As as a bear, Taraho is much as you'd expect. A big, tubby, yet muscled mass of fur and fat and dick. His <laughs> bear form stays fairly similar no matter when he shifts into it, always with a lot of weight, big claws, shaggy mane, a spotty rump, and a wet nose. However, due to his size, his fat cock jumps at least another half a foot and thickens significantly, so you damn well better be ready for it. Big dangling balls, a musky leaking snatch, and the kind of arse that most men can only dream of all make up for a great fuck that you'll never forget. Being the child of Kitsun Tuar, a six-tailed demon-touched techno-mage Kitsun Tor and her mate, a Chakot by the name of Nightstorm. Being part demon as she is has caused her a horror life. Of and all of these like, words, like her and she, have I's instead of E's, and it's really fucking me up. With most Chakots not being accepted with Chakots that are not the normal Chakots. Her, what the fuck is going on with this fuck? Lilith's come, jaw come throat addiction. and... <laughs> Lilith's jaw, throat, and stomach are extremely flexible. She can take just about anything into her mouth and swallow it with utmost ease. Her nose and mouth aren't connected. They have separate tubes to the lungs, and as such, she has no gag reflex. Her tongue is long and nibble, seven inches long in fact, and can widen and stiffen or grow longer and more agile, shrinking to five inches and growing to a max of nine. Her tentacles are a bit odd. <laughs> that, oh my god, that picture. <laughs> I know. Holy shit. The benefits of shape-shifting is got this smug-ass scar <laughs> smile on his face. <laughs> oh my god. His the face best. is so smug. <laughs> it literally looks like Scar from The Lion King. Like, look, look at watch me lick my own cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dude's, this dude's fucking avatar is a bear wearing a bow tie. I'm in. <laughs> oh, you saw him? I, it, his is boring. That's a shame. Right? Oh, no, that that's fucking the bartender who works at Club Manwich. Yep, that's, that's Club Manwich guy. A cunt boy? Wait, what? 
a bizarre trait that makes this fellow even more rare amongst his species. But yes, he was born, quote, inaccurately, apart from others in his race. The blue and silver Shurian isn't as manly above, below the belt as he is above it, yet he hasn't let living without a phallic instrument deteriorate his otherwise masculine qualities. Like, what the f***? That's <laughs> so much. Uh... On a side note, I really, really hate stuck-up people. I do glance at profiles here and there, but I still ask around for small talk every so often. If you are not welcome to this, just do me a favor and don't reply. Clearly, you're too full of yourself to act like a normal individual. <laughs> OMG, can I make him preggers? No, 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 and ew. What part of non-fully functioning reproductive organs do you not understand? I mean, seriously, <laughs> why would you shit. want to ruin this nice little tummy of mine? You'd completely ruin my arrow dynamic awesomeness. Get it? Aerodynamic, winky face. Because I don't have a penis. Oh, come on. Fuck you. That's funny. That's literally what it says. <laughs> Isn't a guy without a dick just the same as a female without the breasts? In red text, stop and consider what you just thought in your head. <laughs> no, they are not the same. Starting with the fact that you called one a guy and the other a girl. Before taking parts off them. That alone implies you acknowledge that they're different to begin with before you go below, boys, or above, girls, the belt. There's a lot more to the gender of a person than what grew between their legs, so try not to think in binary absolution. Gra <laughs> absolution? <laughs> Granted, I understand there are a lot of sea boys that look like breastless females, but I'm the poster boy for dudes born without their dong. <laughs> He's the poster boy. <laughs> He says binary absolution. He means binary absolutism. <laughs> Mondai was always quite the smart and clever girl when she was young. That is, until those two large milk factories of hers started growing and began <laughs> sucking away all the blood that was supposed to go to the poor girl's brain. The more the two meat mountains grew, the more stupid Mondai, until she reached the ripe age of 16 where each mammaries were larger than even the bussy woman's head. By then, she was already flunking most of her exams in school, only passing her courses because all her teachers felt too guilty about masturbating to the image of those large knockers and knights. <laughs> when she graduated, however, she found herself out of a job and out of money, desperate to make a living. She volunteered as a human subject to a scientific experiment done by a shady company. Unfortunately for her, the experiment didn't quite work out, which made her end up, quite fatefully it seems, having her two milk factories become quite literally actual <laughs> milk-making orbs, and considering their size, packed quite the number of liters. After a long and tedious lawsuit, Mondai was able to walk away with quite the heft sum of money, enough to save her a lifetime of clubs and partying, which she certainly indulged in. His cock most of the times is 32 long and 15 thick. His balls a little bigger than watermelons, or even bigger? Find out on your own, because I am more than sure that you will enjoy this buffy tiger as your master. Oh my god. Are you just going through friends lists from the rhino like I am? Yes, still. <laughs> Beth Marston, big, curvaceous, Amazon-esque she-stud with a lust for sissy boys and slutty girls, <laughs> or, well, anything she can get her hands on and overpower, really, though she's still got a big love for playing the bitch role herself. Standing tall at six foot five, her equine body and intimidating powerhouse of musculature to most. God, the grammar. But she's no bodybuilder. A layer of jiggly fat keeps her body voluptuous and mouth-watering, where it counts, a gorgeous face concealed behind her silvery cascading mane and in a bust that looks like it could burst out of her top and send buttons flying all over the room at any given moment. Her body a mouth-watering mouth hourglass despite her size, her tummy toned and taut flowing down into wide hips, a fat plump bouncing ass and thick incredibly powerful thighs, just perfect for brutal relentless rutting. <laughs> Running. I'm the I'm the Wayne Gretzky of sexual stuff. I'm the Hulk Hogan of slam and muck. I'm the Indiana Jones of exploring crotch. I'm the Shakespeare of enormous cock. That's the only oh thing he's got to profile other than 23 pictures of his dinosaur who is 125 million years old and the species is Velociraptor and none of the pictures are of anything that looks remotely like a Velociraptor. It's just some other random ass dinosaur. Pulsar oh is an uppity bottom. <laughs> <laughs>
I've really become less and less interested in doming because of the poor quality of 95% of the subs on here. Sorry guys, I'd really just rather not do that. At the very least, I like a mutual scene. If you are dom, I'm a very uppity bottom who will challenge you and add to the scene. I absolutely don't roll over and just take it. Subs who do that are a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> oh, this guy's verified. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it means he's an uppity bottom. Is, is, he, like a, he, is he like a confirmed cardinal named Pulsar? He's absolutely 100% guard. Pulsar is a hyper-hung, slutty northern cardinal. I already did this one, guy. Was that, was that you? Yes. All right, all right, I couldn't tell if it sounded familiar or not. I mean, there might be multiple cardinals on this site. Maybe. Would you really be surprised, though? Toran eyes you over shamelessly as you approach him. Of course, the large male seems domineering and even a bit lewd, but only a shallow person would not offer a hello and walk away. He's quiet, and something about him seems to shout he's wise and perhaps understanding. This one has seen a rough life, and it's aged him enough to be independent always. Never trusting, but never turning away. This is his sample pro. Because <laughs> he's a black rhino. <laughs> he's a black rhino with... <laughs> The smell of sandalwood metal and no unkempt male scent. <laughs> it says, please don't call me daddy. You <laughs> can't stop Christ. me. And his pictures are from Second Life. This is the best website. I feel like I can't read anything anymore because nothing will beat that goddamn Torin Druid her. Pretty much. <laughs> that, that's that's seriously like I, I'm trying to find something even remotely on that level, but I think I struck gold. <laughs> that's the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, let's see. Oh god, this whole profile is written in old English. Well, this person uh, on their no list is uh, any gender pronouns. So any of the <laughs> she, her, anything like this, I even see it being used. I will have no interest in the character. No blank profiles or cervical penetration. I... <laughs> also in their no is the hi, how are you? Look, if you're not my friend, then you don't really care. If you message me, you either like my status, one of my characters, or something I have done. Uh, or hate them enough to come talk to me about it and rather than being polite. Cut the fake politeness and get to why you want to talk to me. I'm not going to be angry and in fact probably will be quite happy if you tell me in a well-worded way something along the lines of God, I just want to fuck that character so bad. The hi, how are you is not immediate ignore worthy but sure puts you off at a very bad start. <laughs> now this, this person's got in their list uh, no to grammar Nazis but grammar spelled wrong. Yes, yeah, is your typical Aussie crocodile. Big, rugged scales with a smooth underbelly. Okay, okay, I know you all skipped right down here anyway, so here goes. There are two things about Gaz's downstairs you might find interesting. Three if you include the size. The first and immediately noticeable one is that he has two dicks. Yep, count them, two. Which is strange for his coin. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe perhaps one of his great ancestors fucked a shark or something. The second noticeable thing about this sizable crotch, crux crotch is the smell. He's a particularly musky creature, and you know what? You love it drives you wild. His members are fairly large, each tapered cock measuring her up to be around 13 inches long, very wide at the base, and slowly thinning up to the head, which is still large anyway. Note, I loves me some hyper, so if you want to go larger, it's no problem. Also unusual for his kind is that although he has a slippery slit for cock storage, he also has a very meaty set of balls hanging tangly between his legs, <laughs> and oddly enough, they're fairly pliable. My god! <laughs> Do anything you want with him. He doesn't mind. Actually, he loves it. One last thing to note about this mad scrotch is that not only is a slit full of slimy natural lubricant, but it's incredibly sensitive to boot. One of his favorite things, and one of his most embarrassing secrets, is that he absolutely loves it when someone fucks his slit. Go ahead, just shove your cock in. You'll deflate this crocs macho <laughs> dominant attitude and have him moaning, hunting, and begging for more. He'll love you for it. This is the best thing. This is the, the best world. website Good ever. job. I, I gotta Thank say. You.
I, I can't believe you held it together that well, honestly. <laughs> Here is the most <laughs> fake Japanese name ever. <laughs> Kane. By God, by God, it's Kane. Oh god. A monster of a male, standing a massive eight feet tall, black hide like polished obsidian, and twice as tough shone as he strutted his way down the street. He smiled as people turned to stare. Wearing no shirt, he flexed those Adonis-like muscles, snorting at any who gave him any less than a look of stunned <laughs> awe, because god damn did he have a fat fuckable ass, and he was proud of it. It was his best feature sticking out lewdly, begging for a spank or a grope, inviting any male to just shove him up against a wall and take what they wanted. If that wasn't enough, the fact that the only thing he used to keep himself decent was a neon pink thong that flossed his massive ass cheeks, <laughs> revealing the bitch tattoo on one, and a small, all-seeing eye brand on one of his upper thighs. Everything about that oversized rhino screaming, fat-ass faggot slut. <laughs> his croc is good with his hands, and I'm not just saying that. Although he won't tell you where he landed, perhaps from a talking fish when he was fishing one day, or maybe just he made it up. Who knows? Anywho, like I said, guys can do two particularly naughty things with his hands. First being that he can make parts of your, his, and anyone's body grow. He hasn't had tried to test the limits of this, and the swelling goes down with time. Or perhaps he just says that so he'll come back for repeat visits, hmm? So if you're looking for some formerly <laughs> improvement, Gaz is your man. And in fact, that's his off job. So you know you can trust him. He's other special quote, ancient chop suey noodle technique. Trust me, he's not being racist, it's just how he is. As he likes to call it, it's the ability to turn off your cock, so to speak. It still works perfectly fine. You'll feel every lick, suck, and fuck. You just won't be able to get off. <laughs> Jesus. No matter how hard you're getting pounded, no matter how hard you're getting rode, you won't be able to get off till he lets you. He often uses this on himself, limiting one him of pain as he fucks you with the other, offering twice the pounding if you catch my drip. This <laughs> is the best. This I fucking just... crocodile picture. <laughs> it's a god anthro crocodile with this fucking hat, this cowboy hat on. What's and the it's... profile? <laughs> it's Gaza. Hang on. Like, Vloful hate the. <laughs> I don't know how I kept it together in my shitty Australia. Oh my god, the picture. <laughs> the picture. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's so great. In the public swimming hole. Oh man. Uh, and the slits, you see the slits, don't you? <laughs> Jesus yes. Christ. Picture the slit. Oh good, he's friends with the fucking Taran guy. Yep. Is that how you found it? <laughs> yes. No, you found it from the rhino. I've just been looking through all the rhinos fucking prints. Oh crib. god, you too, huh? <laughs> yep. I think the Taran is his other profile. The one God, God, I hope hope so. I No, hope I don't so. think those are friends. I think that, I think those are the other characters that they have. Jesus. Oh my no way. Yes. The <sighs> If you notice, all the uh, the nose and shit are like the same illiteracy and all that. It's the same guy. Oh my god, yes. So he's got a two-dicked crocodile and a hermaphrodite World of Warcraft character. <laughs> yes. This is the best website in the history of the internet. It's, it's, okay, it's not better than DeviantArt, I take that back. I might be. So the rhino <laughs> with 80 friends actually just had 80 different characters. No, no way. some of them are different. No, that, no, that was the friends list. Like, like, oh, so I'm looking at the, like the friends tab. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a friend stab. Gazing uh, further down, you would come to the beast's only article of clothing. He was apparently clad in leather pants, which hugged his lower body. His shapely rear framed the backside, but it was his groin that stole the show. The leather could barely hold his girth. Should you ever get him undressed, you would find his cock flaccid at a foot and hard and two feet, while his balls hung quite low. <laughs> I have a headache now. <laughs> Beer back, I'm gonna go get some more Moxie.
Man, I hate the ones where it's just like a wall of text and it's all backstory and nothing about fucking dick fucking. What the hell is Cockvor? Why does everyone have to be freaky ass weird chick kinks to mandatory to RP with them? Whatever happened to good old fashioned fucking? <laughs> Femboy skunk stripper looking to be hired. Oh my god. Same. Hey, can you play multiple characters? Can you play multiple characters with massive cocks? Like gangbangs or gang rape and quite rough sex? Read my profile and drop me a line, but remember the motto. The more, the bigger, the better. Furry biased, hyper is a big bonus. I have ideas if you don't. Mostly looking to discuss scenes tonight, but maybe. <laughs> Kinks include hyper breast growth, macro inflation, oh hyper my God. unusual custom breath and preg kinks, lactation plus milking machine, and TF breed. Chath is a nine tails vixen anthro. She has a silky <laughs> thick fur of creamy <laughs> off white color and accents of a faded red. Oh my. Oh, fuck. Well, we have Frost the Orca. I'm an orca with a curious nature. I'm always up for doing and learning new things, to that certain point, of course, because even orcas like me have their boundaries. Though oddly enough, I am on the sheer side, S-H-I-E-R, oh, Shire, I get it, when first meeting people. What do I look like? I'm 6 foot 4, and slightly on the lighter side of the scale, at 150 pounds. I'm not weird, disproportionate animal either, because orcas are perfect. My dorsal fin is 16 inches, and my tail stalk being 30 inches. <laughs> And my tail at the widest is 18 inches. My eyes are like that of the seaweed. Like all <laughs> cestations, I have no external Boy. genitalia. My member tucked back into my genital slit, except for those times when aroused. Almost forgot the most important thing. I'm partly albino, meaning that I have a lot more white than I should. Oh, but there's a mix of black, and you can see the outline of my markings. If you can form the mental picture, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. Oh. And for those who wondered, my blowhole is very much off limits. It's for me to breathe, <laughs> and with that, that's it. Species Wolf and wait, Clydesdale wait. hybrid. Go back down to the orca. I'm gay. 100% gay. <laughs> which means males Same. only. <laughs> the flavor Fucking of the day. Okay, basically, I'm usually in the mood for this is gang rape. Specifically, I've been in the mood for throngs of males' herms at once. Particularly intriguing ones include entire packs of wolves or werewolves and a swarming <laughs> horde of demons. Apply within. Tentacles. <laughs> if your beastie can create even more ways to fuck this vixen, all the better. <laughs> Shove them in every will they're going her and don't hold any back. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yellow and black male dragon looking for a female player to turn into the perfect woman, either by using magic, potions, or even making her work out to gradually turn her into a pot of shell. I could use magic or potions, but you know what? Hit the treadmill, bitch. <laughs> My favorite fuck to death. <laughs> what? It oh my happened. god. It has happened before. The dragon gets carried away and fucks his partner to death, either by causing him to suffer from internal bleeding, hemorrhaging, etc., which is a fucking splice. God damn it. Look, yes, just look at the worship. pictures. Ass worship. Death, that's her dream.
Oh my shit. <laughs> He's got like stat lines and like the different faces for like confused, Bobby happy, <laughs> lustful, lustful, lustful face. <laughs> I wish I had any artistic skill because I would be so rich selling <laughs> fucking commissions to these people. What do you think one of those goes for? Like 40 bucks? Please note that Anale is a gender-bending shapeshifter, thus why some of the info in the F-list setup mentions both male information and female information. I am most often, however, my main z form. <laughs> I was trying to read all the fucking uh, comma splices into that and just couldn't do it. <laughs> I tried really hard, though. To the people who whine about me not having a background, I say this. Tyro is my fursona. He is not a character that is developed to fit in a certain world. He is what I would become if everyone was suddenly turned into anthropomorphic animals. There is no backstory to Tyro, and there never will be. Get over it. <laughs> a note to all the people who think that ignoring people in hopes that they go away will suffice as a response. I have this message. If someone has messaged you, it's because you have piqued their interest enough to make them want to at least chat to you. If you do not want to talk to them back, please state so. Those people who do not at least say, please go away, are just big snobs with a mightier-than-thou attitude. <laughs> Take this to heart, and things will be a lot easier for everyone. Note about post length. I post as much as I can at all times, so if you can hit the right chords and play the right part, I can write mini novelas. But you also have to be a decent RPer yourself. I won't post a paragraph and then get three words in response. That will end the RP. <laughs> Failure to note this will get the RP dropped. Seeking a goo monster, tentacle monster, mad scientist, or witch who would enjoy an erotic and playful teasing focused RP like this. Tickling not required and flexible with kinks. Could you imagine to read this like, oh man, I gotta have tickling. Oh, what is it required? Click the like oh, this. <laughs> it's oh, silly. Do I want to? It's not, it's on DeviantArt, so it's not like, you know, oh, overly. Oh, for Christ's sake. What, what the fuck ever. <laughs> Are you ticklish content? Everyone wins. Up and coming superhero looking to save the day and protect the innocent, all while showing off, of course. Any supervillains around to answer for their evil crimes? Let's see what happens in a battle between good and evil. Willing to discuss ideas? Hit me up, guys. This dude has no clue. There's gotta be cock frauding somewhere. I swear to God, my roommate loves me. I explained to her what cockfrotting was one time. As, as I explained it to her as what her boyfriend's secret fetish... It was my guess for what her boyfriend's fetish was. Her ex-boyfriend's. And she was like, guess what it is? It's like cockfrotting. And I had to explain it because of <laughs> F-less. <laughs> well, were you right? <laughs> no, I was wrong. It was, it was cuckolding. But I wanted to be right. Who wants to stuff a sexy, thick-ass fin boy with a lot of cock? Uh, it's the same guy who we've, we've seen this guy's profile. Oh, I'm not. Bisexual hipster cat boy. Now, for the real sexy details. Tipping the scales at 568 pounds, this panda has quite the history with her figure. Developed from that natural big appetite native to her species, her huge bottom-heavy figure is overpowered by a swaying pendulum of rump. That butt of hers, so rounded yet so fat, is surprisingly not prone to knocking everything that is not nailed down over. It sticks out like a shelf, causing much temptation to store stuff on top of it. Her hips complement that ass too. Too, hypnotizing every fur who gazes upon the massive swinging motion. Of course, being a fat girl, Gil has a nice soft belly hanging in front, but not too big and just right to rub or lay your head upon. Her breasts are plenty big, filling a nice H cup, although many have demanded the panda to grow them out with magic. Gil often refuses to use her magic on herself, but maybe it could take an especially silver-tongued fur to convince her to fatten herself up even more? <laughs> Like, the, 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 the fucking picture is just a panda wearing a hoodie eating a cookie. 
The little pup loved being the center of attention, receiving the pets and having her head ruffled by the group of women gathered around her, each praising how soft and adorable the puppy was and how affectionate the small canine always was. Each of the women have arrived carrying a dish of food to contribute to the dinner party that was being held, gathered at the table to begin eating and conversation. While they laughed and made fun of the playful mutt, snuck her way under the tablecloth in search of scraps as well, nudging her little nose between the legs of one of the women. Conversation above had turned to discussing past naughty exploits, leaving the puppy's sight to be greeted by the large tent under the woman's skirt. Instantly drawing a glance from the lady downwards upon the pup with a pleasant smile, surprisingly unfazed by the curious pup and all too happy to reach down to free the towering spire to feed the hungry pup a creamy dessert of a different sort. <laughs> Finding the end of her nose buried within the woman's sweaty crotch, the strong musky scent stifled under the table to fill the canine's every breath while having the gullet stuffed with every inch of the fat cock. Force-fed what would be later known as her first meal of the night, given a light pat of the head and a cum-dripping maw, after the ordeal only turned to her head and noticed the other woman of the table with legs spread in each of their own needs of release. The greedy slut puppy was quick to nudge her way between each of the woman's legs to receive a similar feeding from each seat before the end of the night. Each of the women heading out with a smile upon their face as the pup slipped out from under the table with long strands of white goo dripping from her muzzle only to have her attention drawn back by the voice of the towering figure of her owner standing with a wide grin and another huge drooling pick, prick standing erect. Did you save room for me, my little bitch? And scene. Oh my god. Masculine canine cunt boy looking for sex-driven <laughs> RP with either a male or she-male, the latter preferred but not required. Don't I'm just post I see. I'm an extremely hung, decently hyper, and loving femboy Raichu who's quite lonely tonight. God damn it. <laughs> Just every I wasn't time. expecting Raichu. <laughs> I every wasn't time. either. <laughs> Holy shit. Side notes, my balls and rump cheeks are both perfectly round. My cock is white like the rest of me except for the tip, which is light flesh pink. I am an anthro snow Raichu. Although I retain my electrical powers, what? I also have what ice powers. <laughs> As you can see, my picture is very inaccurate. It needs much bigger bulges, a bigger rump, the bottom of my feet, palms of my hands, my rump and my bulges all need to be furless and shiny. These are just a few of the many changes that must be made. Oh, he's too poor to commission something. Poor guy. Ever wish you could be a wicked, sexy, lesbian monster girl? Well, now's your chance. Ah, <laughs> uh, the fairly normal boy for his age, Chase Acacia, still looking for someone. Um, Did somebody make the Jerry character? <laughs> I've been considering it. It's 4.30, and I'm like, eh. It's 5.30 for me, bro, so DM you can do it. seeking adventurous females wishing to embark on kinky quests across a sexualized Azeroth. <laughs> God. Same. I, oh, I would have. Oh shit. I would have joined this game and just fuck it up entirely. <laughs> but you can't without being sucked no, into. No, no, because I'd have to. I'd have to like set up my deep cover, and after like six hours, I might actually enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tried RPing once. I posted it in that thread. It was. Uh, I didn't know what to tell the guy after. He <laughs> like. I was like, great, yeah, sure, all of it, great, yep, you're right, you start. And then <laughs> he started talking about the wet cunt boy shit between his legs, and I was just like, sorry, bro, internet problems, gotta go. <laughs> Ooh, how should I introduce myself? Well, for starters, I am Julian, a large gay hippo. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I make a living by being a model for various ad agencies around town, and I actually make a good living off it. I have a fondness for pro wrestling and love big bodies just like mine, or partners that were a sharp contrast and are way smaller than me. Since I'm 10 foot 2 and weight 6,000 pounds, I can easily dwarf many maids that I'll meet, but I 
assure you I'm very kind and more submissive than you think. My main fetish is squashing, which to be put it bluntly, <laughs> me sitting on you, or just seeing any fat fur do so. It drives me oh wild God. and it is my main interest to find with other furs. I'm sorry to embarrass myself, but it's such a powerful thrill that I may take up wrestling just to experience doing it to others. If you would like to be the seat to this fat-ass hippo, please give me a buzz. Keep in mind that although I like meeting new people, I rarely check my F-list notes. Oh my god. From the, from the trauma of his past, knowing the way of how his ancestral females were treated by his previous caretakers, he swore on himself to abstain from the female variety and never commit the acts of those that he'd slain. He instead drove his admiration, or more his releasing of tension, to that of the male gender, where he found his pleasure instead. The humanoid creature spouts spr an uncut member of similar flesh color to his body, the thick foreskin and shaft of an orcish green, literally pouring <laughs> out a musky scent from of its usual metallic enclosure to mesmerize even those resistive of males and drive them into submission for his own will. Hidden underneath that protective foreskin would be a slightly darker flesh tone of his cock head. The extra sensitive area his sweet spot which always rewards those pleasing him with a copious salty load. But that gift must obviously come from somewhere, and his extra heavy ball sack dangling freely between his legs would show exactly what that source was. Each one nearly the size of a tennis ball, and it'd be obvious to guess he could store plenty of stuff in there and go a good few rounds before having to refuel himself. Of course, when he's filling up, it wouldn't hurt for a nice sub to just play with his flaccid orc cock to pass the time and amuse them both. Same. Even as a dominant, he isn't against feeling the pleasures gained from toying with one's rear. Having a nice tongue pressed against his musky hole wouldn't go amiss if they wanted to get on his good side. Same. This is literally an orc, gay orc shit. <laughs> This lick -a tongues tongue can do wonders. Oh, you will lick boy. just about any part of your body, <laughs> sending those tingly sensations that is used to pluralize for pleasure. <laughs> he will like it when you show how much you love his tongue by grinding on it, licking it, and sucking it. So don't be shy. If you're male and looking for some tongue action, don't hesitate to send me a note or message him on the F chat. I love to lick. A <laughs> large gay hippo, though. I'm going through the large gay hippo's friends, because he's into other fat furs. That's how I found the fat lick -a tongue <laughs> Something a bit different for me. This is a very specific profile in which my character owns a farm where girls who are runaways, slaves, daughters, sisters, and mothers are brought for one purpose. They are used as training dummies, more or less for breeding with large dogs, horses, pigs, and other various farm animals, and even a few more exotic creatures. When brought here, the girls are most always unwilling, of course, so they will have to be shown how to do these things, perhaps even punished for insubordination and involved in who knows what else by the keepers, the underpaid, undersexed, overworked, who take care of all the girls in their kennel. Not now, then. All that being said, I have very few limits. <laughs> I am looking for a girl who is pretty much the same. I can't do furs. I can't handle neku, kitsu tail, and ears are fine. Full-on fur just doesn't do it for me. Also, I don't play via notes. I exclusively play on FChat, Yahoo, or MSN. So Same. if you are interested in playing with this character or one of my others, that is where it is going to have to be done. Sorry to be picky, it's just what I like. <laughs> TJ is a Eurasian river otter with a very healthy amount of fires to sit. Well, <laughs> that's Jesus, it. Every We're done here. Time. Standing at only four and a half feet tall, the blonde Yoshi could easily pass as a female with those wide, curvaceous hips and big, bouncy rump if it weren't for the obvious package in front. An easy-going and fun-loving Yoshi boy, Jin never misses an opportunity to indulge in his various interests. Keen and fun, though he's not too keen on being overly aggressive or cruel to get his way. Jin has a son, DJ, and works as a model actor in porn to supplement both both his funds and his near addiction to orgasms and semen. Same. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> like, I keep thinking I want to go to bed, but can't bring myself to leave this glorious website. <laughs> Best like, podcast. this is the face of addiction. <laughs> faces of Beth has nothing on faces of Eflin. 
cocked. I forgot to look at the other sexual details of that org. He's got cocked dimensions, like flaccid length, width, and circumference, all listed out. Oh, this is the bet. This is how that dude in Cleveland who like kept the sex slaves in his house like <laughs> starts. This right here. This is how he passes his time. This is, I, I guarantee you, he had an F-list account. I guarantee it. <laughs> Man, th this fucking dude has his real name on his email. And oh. his picture's an obese meow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. What's the link? Give me the link. <sighs> Meowth's a simple character, yet he has a lot of mystery to him, as well as a lot of fun in him. Okay, no, I read the wrong one. Lately, he's been taking up guitar lessons and vocal practice to where he's become a decent singer, loving bands like Stone Sour, Seether, and Stained. Aww. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard all night. <laughs> Isn't it? It's blatantly self-insertion. Like, he's blatantly role-playing himself as an obese Meowth. I just mean anyone liking Stained. <laughs> Josh anyone S. Like Phillips, no. <laughs> Anyone liking Stained or an obese Meowth liking Stained? <laughs> yeah. His nose, blogging without reason. Death. Humans. <laughs> okay, I'm fucking sick of this happening. People blocking me without even telling me why. Do none of you understand how much that fucking hurts? If you don't want to talk to me, at least tell me why. I have done nothing but try to be nice people, and this is what it gets me. Just being blocked with no damn reason. I don't treat others with such disrespect, so why are you guys doing it to me? This guy has turbo autism, holy shit. This is literally self-insertion. He talks about his depression, his smoking, oh my god. This is the, this is the best. You should know that most of the time I am in the market for extreme weight gain of the everything something variety, and also a notorious proponent of slob play. I also typically mutilate on a large scale, turning entire civilizations into food through various means of preparation, <laughs> cooking, and so on. Generally, the more it hurts, the more it is practiced. With that out of the way, I am very flexible in that I appreciate consensus. I may not budge much in deciding the contents of a specific scene, but I love to discuss discuss ideas and see if I can't find something my partner and I can agree on enjoying mutually. That being said, I only do dominance. And though occasionally I tire of it, I sub from the top as well. Ask me how. I also adore corrupting mortals, deities, and the like, turning them into grotesque, grotesquely blimpish parodies of their former selves, <laughs> beholden utterly to my will. I am also occasionally one for making one-shot characters for the purpose of a specific scene idea, or, depending on my mood and your out-of-character willingness, having you make a one-shot character. This, this F so I found the, fa uh, favorite the meow. Favorite desperation. Being used as a barf bag. Big, being accepted. <laughs> so the uh, the Joshua Phillips, the uh, the Meowth guy who used his real e email, mm -hmm. he's apparently uh, e famous enough to have an Encyclopedia Dramatica. After yes. That. Oh yes. Gonna need a link to this right now. Yep. I, I'm so, I'm so glad you decided to e stalk this guy. Like you apparently no he goes by Melee Kirby, and it, by looking at it, it's pretty obvious it's the same guy. Yep, it's the same guy. Sticks and stones may break my bones. Why any fucked hard on deviant art, you say? Indeed. <laughs> and fur affinity. Oh All my god, why just, have we uh, not gone to fur affinity yet? Because we haven't finished with F-list. We can't there is no finish finishing with F-list. F -list. <laughs> we haven't finished deviant art either, but look where we are true oh yep and that's his actual gut down there yep <laughs> oh my god yep so, so i'm, I'm nah. sorry but i i think the funniest thing that last thing i read the funniest part was i also adore corrupting mortals deities and the like <laughs> like oh yeah you know those things that are mortal or immortal whatever <laughs> you, you know you know that kind of stuff sam this fucking Julian Hippo profile is a gold mine. Jesus. I, st I still can't get over <laughs> Roland Bovon. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cow. Fucking Sheriff Bull. Who's a big horny bull out to fuck. <laughs> He's, his favorite is branding. <laughs>
It's so quiet tonight, and there's a distinct lack of dominant girl cock to put me in my place. <laughs> oh my god. Post-apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic junkie angel looking for a bru- brutal mutilation and gore. So, eh. just, just so you know. Oh god. After the people of Earth decimated themselves with nuclear war, ruining their world and their civilization, the forces of heaven abandoned the humans as a lost cause. Apart from one naive angel, Laryl descended to the post-apocalyptic wasteland in a bid to redeem humanity, but she was corrupted by the wasteland's wicked ways within weeks. She became addicted to the radioactive goop soiling the land, gobbling down (laughs) gallons of it for cheap thrills, the vile mutagenic stuff having a remarkable retroactive property on her angelic physique. This is the best. I'll never get tired of this website. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I first saw it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and I, like, debated, like, posting it in NFL links because I was just like, this is too much, man. I don't know if they can handle it. No such thing. Dope. At There's least no for us. Dope. I don't know, man. KD3 it- pretty much... You almost had an aneurysm that night. I was, dude, I was balls deep in exams. I was fucked up in the head anyway. I was, I was, a, it's the best thing still, though. <laughs> it's still the best. I just, uh, and it just, it never stops. This mom is looking for a dick to stuff her cunt, her own father, father father-in-law, or son preferred. Sometimes the office likes to throw a party at the half of the year. With her husband gone on the business overseas, she would have to attend these parties on her own. This tended to leave her at the mercy of the older executives, the young up-and-coming managers, and of course her husband's boss themselves. Changing my wants up a little this time, I want somebody to be a maid, really, for the room in the tower Sparky lives in. Don't worry, though. There will likely be intimacy when he gets lonely. All consensual, of course. If they could fall for each other, all the better. I'm a big fan of phoenixes or just general avians, but anything will do. <laughs> up and coming superhero re- looking we to save the, the superhero day. Guy, Jen. It's just it doesn't end. <laughs> it's it a different superhero. Is it no, just it's just the... it. Or try and take advantage of this hunky Asian superhero. Let's see what <laughs> happens do... in a battle between good and evil. <laughs> I swear. You have to listen. Oh my god, who says love and romance has to be dull? Why can't I love you so much that I take very chance and opportunity to slam you against a wall and let all that pent up lust and passion out on your ass or gun? <laughs> Afterwards, I'll hold you and tell you just how much I love every part of you equally. Hell, I'll even make you a sandwich if you need a bite to eat. <laughs> Darn, I've missed the Sea Boy advertising cycle by two minutes. <laughs> I'm a cat, purr purr and stuff. Looking to be bred by something inhuman. Same. Uh, story of my life. <laughs> it's the best website. It's 4.45 central time, and there's still like five or six per minute. It's so beautiful. Now, Willie, you have to listen to, to, our, to the DeviantR podcast where we had Gav, man, as a special guest. It's the, it's the best. All right. It's this, when, he, when he find all the Hitler shit, it's the best thing in the world. Uh, do you want me to like send you this recording after I touch it up a bit in Audacity? We just put it on YouTube. Oh, or right. just or just throw it on Mega Upload. Who cares? I mean, yeah. whatever you want to do. I'll YouTube's... throw it up on the uh, the One Eyed Willie YouTube channel. Hell yes. Drain a mage constantly on the lookout for things to occupy his excessive amount of free time with, specifically women. Man, this dude has no fuck this version. Yeah, it, I, don't, all, you get, they, don't you get them mad at the ones? Virgins. Don't you get mad at the ones that like don't go into explicit detail? No, I just get mad at the ones who like. Okay, everyone on here is a fucking gay autistic virgin. The ones who are like open about it piss me off. Like, please talk to me. Fuck that. Yeah, the ones that are desperate in Fless just as much as they are <laughs> desperate in real life. It's fucking infuriating. It's like, how can you so be mad. like this? Male bear looking for subs and bottoms to entertain him. Nothing fully in mind at the moment, so if you're interested, drop me a line, I'll be waiting. Accepting all genders and species. See, like, have some fucking standards, Damien <laughs> Ramses. Like, come on, man. Don't... Don't don't just accept whatever fucking comes your way, man. I accept whatever comes my way, not works it. 
Oh, boy slut Aaron. Slutty little femboy craving to be rammed with a nice hard girl cock. Or a big strong stud, maybe? Horse cocks are so much fun, and if you want to transform him into a cute futa girl, he'd love that too. I Growing up, he's always considered himself straight, but the first time he got laid, the girl turned out to pack a little, or not so little extra, and, well, he never looked back. And now he can't get enough of those big, thick girl cocks and will bad, gladly bend over for a strong, dominant herm or she male. He can be shy at first, but don't let that mislead you. Once he opens up, he's your eager fuck toy. Becoming a cock slut has begun to affect his body as well. Perhaps it's all the cum of the various species his body has been talk taking, rendering him more feminine, and lately, sometimes he finds himself craving the cocks of males I can't. as well. I can't. Look at the pictures, dude. Look at the fucking pictures. Oh man, that's the bet. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> I'm so glad someone just read this whole topic. Oh my god. Right? I didn't see this post, but Jesus Christ, I'm so happy now. <laughs> like, I could ruin someone's life. Somebody like, actually posted in the topic? Like, I don't think I could have an erection, like, ever again. I don't even care. This tentacle creature is looking to find hosts who would be willing to offer their body to it, or perhaps they would get too close to it and find out the hard way. I feel like the most important part of this is reading everything in, like, the proper syntax that is given. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. I still and can't get over the fucking this dragons. Just, this picture's just a fucking some random anime where some chicks get fucked by a bunch of tentacles. Malakar is a tentacle beast from Solanus 4. This creature lives to find females on distant worlds and infest them. Aether by entering their bodies and leaving like a parasite inside their hosts, tricking him them to believing that having it inside them is normal and that helping it spread its seed and children into other women is a much desired thing, making the host, this is one sentence by the way, believe that there is purpose and ultimate goal in life to spread its will. The other way that this creature may seek out its host would be that it would take them, enjoy their bodies, make them addicted to their tentacles and the slime. Then they then use their body as laving clothing for the host, pleasing them and allowing them to live their life normally, yet in servitude to Malachar. All one sentence! Oh my god! <laughs> Notice, February 24th, 2013. After much thought and debating with myself, I've decided to take a temporary leave of absence from the site, oh, no. as well as RPing for the moment. No. My pets can still contact me through the normal channels. <laughs> This is normal channels. I'll miss fat. you all, but it's something I need to do. After a week or two, I'll see how I'm feeling about returning. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm addicted. I'm addicted to horse cock. Every <laughs> night and day, I dream of hundreds of horses ganging up on me and fucking me in every hole. I especially want to bathe in gallons of horse spunk. Oh Who is here to satisfy my addiction? <laughs> this is the best website. This is okay, this is, I lied, this is better than DeviantArt. Alright, so All right. Moxie oh, Dawkins, on. one of her favorites, is Consensual Death. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I, uh, the, the fucking person in the, uh, in the chat that posted the link to the Vixen and Pussycat Club, <laughs> I, I, I most certainly clicked that link, and I'm really <laughs> excited for this. <laughs> I'm now a proud worker at my favorite establishment, the Cum Dumpster Bar. Look for it down <laughs> in the private rooms. I'd love it if you come. See, I'm in the breeding lounge right now, and I can't seem to find anything. Like, I'm really damn. disappointed in the lack of, of content in the, the literate role players. It's like 4 in the morning. 5 in the morning, whatever. There's still 1,600 people on here. They're probably mostly inactive, though. Imagine just falling asleep with F-List on. <laughs> I think the, uh, the green little clock things by their uh, name means they're either active or inactive. One of the two. Yeah, yeah. Tired of all the nonsense you find in most bars? Want to work where the women are hot to trot and the men are those of your dreams? Then check out the Pink Pussy, where we cater to all walks of life. And I can never stop laughing at middle-aged hermaphrodites. <laughs> My girlfriend's going to wake up to get to work and hear me talking about all this, and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Same, but I, I don't have a girlfriend. This I'm huge, gay. 
this huge slab of palomino flesh stands at eight foot nine. A true <laughs> testament to the equine race. He holds his heavy head high, neck as broad and solid as a steel plate. His ye- his natural yellow blonde mane curving carelessly over his crown the length of his neck. Perched between his ears Okay, get to the good part. Fuck. <laughs> Are, I'm getting so impatient. Tell me what you got. This stallion will rarely use condoms. If the female insists, though, it's only polite that she drinks the semen from within afterwards. <laughs> yeah, here, here we go. It's a wonder he's able to walk properly with these twin globes packed into the front of his concealed thighs and the vicious log pushing for freedom just below his belt, which looks about ready to pop open at any given time. I can't okay, stop saying Okay, canon stuff. Click the uh, read more and click that first fucking picture link. Holy shit. All she mills. Oh, damn. Wait, wait, what am I clicking? <laughs> canon stuff? That's the best thing. <laughs> yeah, canon stuff. The click picture? The all, all she mills. Sorry, CCs. You click. <laughs> Can we sit up? I'm, I'm PMing that to Andre. <laughs> I'll be there to save it. Oh, I'm just. Oh my way. god! I'm believing it's on. That is the best. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> imp submissive imp femboy seeking rough and kinky dominance to use and abuse him. Heavy bondage adored along with chastity, marking torture, and much, much more. Very few hard limits. <laughs> Seeing as how this is like text and all, but you know, pretty easy to be a submissive with very few hard limits through text, I have to say. Oh my god, click situation like this. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad I joined this channel because they're role-playing drinking a bunch of fucking like horny potions or something. <laughs> What's the channel? Um, uh, the Vixen and Pussycat Club. Maria Metallus meeps hearing that and tries to cross her legs, but seems having trouble doing so. She is shuddering and shivering and biting back moans. <laughs> send the uh, send the link. I can't find it. Say, right, hold on. Scroll up a little bit. It's one of the private ones. You have to have the link. I love how we didn't pick genders for our characters. <laughs> <laughs> the only one. I know. <laughs> It's what I'm fucking a gender. Check your goddamn privilege. There you go. Vance McDonald is above gender. Same. Above catching too. Hey, no, I mean, <laughs> Vance loves to catch. This is just a uh, profile. Yeah, you have to scroll. Just go to the 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 regular, like the main one that we were yeah. in, and scroll up. And click I don't. It. I don't know how to link it. Um. Ask if she's got any natty light. <laughs> it's in the, it's in the I don't want to get kicked from this. The sex driven F L F R P, and it's a. Uh... Oh, I found it. Yeah, yeah. We're pretty obvious, though. If you look in the side, we're like the only three without <laughs> gender. Man looking to rape and kill a teenage girl. Any girls up for it? <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mr. Dante Equinox. In my past, I have escorted and have been a bodyguard for a few nightclubs and venues before finally opening up my own club, Dragon's Cove BGB. (laughs) My first location was attacked and burned down by a rival nightclub, leading me to leave my first bar, and everyone grew to enjoy being in the company of... Once I left Europe... I found myself here and decided to reopen my nightclub. God, looking to (laughs) rape and kill a teenage girl. I need girls up for it. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Same. Best website. This guy's just not even... uh, I feel like I should, like, like call somebody about this. (laughs) Like, this isn't okay. It's... (laughs) You need to alert the authorities. I mean... The the Cleveland basement guy still has his bot running a server. To post that at night. Thanks, Obama. Nah, it's cool. He's kinky freaky, man. Oh, okay. 
Well, I found someone who claims their master is the fucking Lickitung. <laughs> My master, he's a very smexy pink Lickitung that I would let right him back. rim me any day. Alright, so in Suck That Girl Cock here, we have just a bunch of people who are pussyfooting around. Like, it's very obvious they all want to just get into it, but they're all too afraid to. It's pretty sad. Oh, but Miss Marvel has now snagged the cat girl as she runs past, plopping her down on the bare thighs and stroking her head. Nikoko Washa squeaks as she is snatched, giggling as her tail swaying makes her skirt flutter with each of her twin tail movements. Her ears twitch and she begins purring as her head is stroked, not minding in the slightest that the woman doesn't seem to be wearing any bottoms. Ugh. Star Fox McCloud. That's gotta be a joke. How many serious accounts on here have we seen? Like, I'm not assuming anything is a joke at this point. Uh, yeah, because that's like way too much for a joke. Like, I can't even bring myself to like, make funny kinks for Vance McDonald joke account, because there's just too many. I, it's overwhelming. There's like, I looked so at the many. list and just went, nope, I'm out. Like, Hello, I just, everyone. Uh, I'm Red, the Roddy, that is. I'm just a random big buff guy who loves ass and nipples and is looking for a good time. Same. Just the nonchalance of, yep, ass and nipples. You know how it goes. Ooh. Looking for a fun time? Looking to get a bunch of new friends and having lots of naughty sex with any male around you? Then visit Jugs and Mugs. Drinks are free for topless cuties. Female, shemale, herm only. So come take a look. Currently hiring? Bar sluts. I... Did I run out of things on Julian Hippo already? Shit. Royal male lion looking for medieval themed RP. With lots of story along with the smut. See, I, I'm above all these, you know, plebs here. I like a little story with my smut. Just saying. Need to get into the world. Need to engross myself in the lore. Uh. Man. <laughs> Decently just... hyper femboy ride. She still gets me every time. Oh my god. This Dude is... can't find anyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking... This is so, like, like fucking English. It's It's wonderful. Five special talents. He can walk with he's 200 tons weight and much more. <laughs> Can't feel to be stuffed. He's sperma have weight gain effects like fast food. <laughs> have magic slow. That means I can make everybody to move really slowly. <laughs> he can summon three eteral six feet height fat pandas. They're really great bodyguards and they love me. <laughs> Did you guys what? read Malachar yet? Yep. Okay. It's I was, the best. wasn't sure. From Solaris 4. It's, oh, a, whole one, it's a whole one sentence. <laughs> it's just there's like 20 commas. <laughs> there's like two hyphens and no fucking period. Man looking for intrigue. Idiosyncrat writer with interest in The Walking Dead, Westeros, King Killer Chronicles, Guild Wars, Warcraft, Dragon Age, Mass Effect, Wheel of Time, World War II, Vietnam, Alcohol, alcohol prohibition, prohibition, Crime, Racketeering, Laundering, Murder, Drug Running, Prostitution. I'm looking for elegant, florid ladies, freak bitches, soft-spoken guys, or really anything. High quality. With the stress on anything. <laughs> Who is good at playing multiples? I need all the horse cock I can get. God, I would Same. enjoy Boy, a yeah. Vietnam roleplay. <laughs> I'm about to come and I step in a punji pit and die. <laughs> I am now a proud worker at my favorite establishment, the Cum Dumpster Bar. Look for it down in the private rooms. I'd love it if you come. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo. Man, this one has a fur affinity link, and I'm so tempted to click, but I know it's going to be another three hours of this if I do. <laughs> it's going to be another three hours anyway. Oh, Brian Definitely. the Bull is redoing his backstory. Note, Aww. I am dysgraphic, which means I suck at spelling and grammar. I also prefer one line at a time. I'm usually a top, and I prefer a con to non-con, but I'll gladly do both. Tilly is a lovable penguin girl who loves to eat. 
Her base weight is 500 pounds, which she can grow to be as big as she wants to be. She also loves expansion, inflation of just about any kind, and she's not shy about trying new things, as long as they're not violent or involving scat, anything along those lines. Besides that, she loves many things, especially her huge penguin assets. She's got big M-cup titties, a beautiful but donk a donk butt, and a bodacious belly that's very soft. Just so everyone is aware, this character is played by a male IRL. <laughs> oh my god. Way to shoot yourself in the foot there, bro. Was it not the fucking 500 pound penguin? <laughs> that's, that's, no, that's, like, that's, that's the point where you get shit, never mind. I, I guarantee you it is. <laughs> fucking kinky freak, man. You know that that's like a serial killer. <laughs> it couldn't come up with anything more creative. <laughs> Alright, just a sight about fucking random people. Alright, I'm gonna be kinky freaky, man. <laughs> it's been like fucking three right. hours, and Gina Clarkson still cannot find any hermaphrodite skunk looking for female <laughs> hermaphrodite or female daughter of any species. <laughs> like, at what point do you just give up? Nobody Never. wants you, Gina Clarkson. <laughs> Standing before you is a nine-foot-tall orca. His skin color is black and a hint of baby oh, blue. God. Various rounded markings <laughs> accenting the black. His whole body is a wall of muscle, each rivulet of skin covered in a deep tone, showing years of bodybuilding on the beach. As you move down his body, you'll notice the flaccid, uncut, humanoid dick resting at his kneecap. When hard, it stands a solid two his feet. His balls vary in size, depending on present company, from softball size to beach ball size. He is usually common collected and likes to have his bit of fun in both ways. Oh my God. <laughs> like, like, okay, so this is an orca with l l kneecaps yes. that body builds on the beach and has a two-foot cock with beach ball-sized <laughs> testes. Did yep. I mention his name is Jean-Baptiste? Because I think that makes it funnier. <laughs> Jean. Uh-huh-huh. Extra uber special note of awesomeness. Two words. Anne Hathaway. If you want to get on my good side, play as her for me. If you want to get on my really good side, make her call me darling or sweetheart. I saw that. If you want me that. to fucking worship you, make her wear thick lipstick, call me those cute names, make her kiss me and promptly make sweet love to me. She must not be a total sub. I want her to almost be, be almost switch, but more on the loving dom side. To show me you've read this, are interested in playing as her or one of her movie roles, and have paid attention to this, please quote my past code that I've hidden somewhere in my profile. To make sure you've read it all, winky face. Also quote the passcode if you claim to have read the profile. It helps to know if you have. Passcode! What the fuck? There are prerequisites to RPing with me. You must read my novel. <laughs> <laughs> I've hidden in it the Man. password. If you're wondering what the passcode is, it's so... <laughs> <laughs> this fucking... Or, like, like this. There's this one fuck, fucking person in this, uh, this vixen and pussycat club that's like trying desperately to get picked up, and it's the funniest goddamn <laughs> thing. <laughs> Whimper softly, wondering how in God's name she is gonna get some relief. Oh, Maria and Metalis. And then the other person good night, and the other person just bows. <laughs> what the fuck? To the lovely hostess. Like, I'm not the one. <laughs> I'm not the one. I didn't say if you're wondering what the passcode. Like, that's what it reads. It reads if you're wondering what the passcode is. It's so fucking. <laughs> It's the best. Dude, I wonder if he's got a fedora. Should we ask him? Oh, man. I have to know. Of course his picture is a fucking Second Life fucking pic. Uh, it's the best. Yes. Dominant cat fox is looking for a female shemale or herm that doesn't mind putting on some winter clothes for bondage fun. <laughs> oh yes, wrap me in your parka. Oh. <laughs> oh, this parka is so tight, I can't even move. It's that parka, like, from the Japanese company that makes self-hugging -sw sweater. <laughs> are, pray tell, are those galoshes you're wearing? Mmm. Who wants to stuff a sexy, thick-ass fin boy with a lot of cock? <laughs> and every time, really already, but I every really time. <laughs> oh, oh, she's getting picked up. Bitch is getting picked up. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we're just like waiting to see what happens next. <laughs> 
Oh, here so, it comes. So. There's our boy. There's our boy. <laughs> Oh god. Her, all her pic her, the only information she has is some random picture of of some random video game bitch. And that's that's literally it. She's shivering. Oh, you need you call you a sweater? I bet you get one from the park of <laughs> park. <laughs> So, so I've had yo bartender. Can the can me and the bros get some brewskis? <laughs> Types for like ten minutes, and I don't want to hit enter because I don't want to get kicked out. Oh, I'm totally gonna get kicked out. <laughs> Sweater. <laughs> and he did spell need right. I, I love know. It. Yep. I love you. As a dragon, act not always sexual, which may seem odd to some, but in the right times and moods. Axe can be a great lover or primal beast. <laughs> Why was there a period? <laughs> Whichever you would like to call it. Axes dominate mostly, sometimes on that darker side for those who like it wild. Then he also has that soft, rough lover side. <laughs> By nature, though, the dragon loves to take control and at times pin his lover down. Now where his sexual slit is lies two large draconic <laughs> members, can be one on request. They are barbed at the heads and rigged on the sides all the way down to nice thick knots. Their size can range from 25 to 50 inches. So depending on how you feel about it, I can go higher or lower. The dragon's sim tends to be very musky and thick. Even the pre is thick. The gum it's itself. The I think sim was supposed to say cum, but the cum itself has a slight icy feel to it and has a somewhat taste that f <laughs> a somewhat taste to it that some enjoy. Some even go into a deep lust just from tasting too much of it. Overall, I am flexible and very open-minded, so I will change anything if you ask nicely. Oh, Yawns lightly. It's a fucking Man. ice dragon. Mel is in a specific mood, mainly looking for a fat cock she male, one who is rough, who wouldn't mind taking what they want by force, ravaging those tight little holes senseless. This fat ass, that swollen snatch. Read through the kinks, and if we work out, send a message, and we can discuss something. Colon three. The beast of a palace is a place to yeah. fulfill your darkest desires. <laughs> <laughs> Slutty little femboy craving to be ran by a nice hard girl. <laughs> Please, just sit on my face. That's horse all I want right now. Horse cocks are so much fun, and if you want to transform into a cute Fuda girl, he'd love that too. <laughs> Herm, beast of a goddess, looking for monsters to enslave. Meet Nancy. Single. Early 30s. History teacher. She's popular with her students and folks in the neighborhood, where she owns a modest but comfortable home. She's got a dog named Rufus. She's an obsessive reader and gamer in her spare time, and her leek and bacon quiche Lorraine has won several prizes. When she can, she goes out with friends and has a particular fondness for anything apple-flavored in her drinks, especially if they're washing down unhealthily cheese pizza. Oh my god. Of course. She has to jog in the morning to make up for the occasional binge, but she enjoys that, and on days when she doesn't have pizza, the jogging is an excuse for that fudge ripple ice cream. Unless, you know, you caught her after hours. Check the second <laughs> Essentially, I'm a 12-tall bear lion like <laughs> every time. Good morning, I'm an alien who does sex things. My phallus is rivaled only by horses and mythical creatures. Being a sex oh demon, I am into a few kinky things. But don't let that put you off. I am into many normal sexy things as well. So shoot me a message because I don't bite. I'm actually not into that sort of thing. <laughs> I'm so happy you specified. Also, there's a there's a fucking imager link to just just the word phallus. So I have to click it, right? Of course. He's not a demon. Oh or no! Muscle oh bound. no! Oh please, please go click that. Please, someone else needs to see this. <laughs> He's not a demon. What is it? Or muscle bound. Just a normal tribal wolf that has recently immigrated into the city, taking odd jobs, simply making this new and odd life. 
looking for a long-term RP that plays off his fish. <laughs> look out at the lockers! Scenario. Oh I my just god! The lockers! Holy shit! Look Carolina at the lockers! Carolina Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is getting saved. Oh PC. This is, this is getting saved. PC, why? Piss Christ, why would you? Now do we this? know why he never has sex. For Cam Newton's <laughs> eyes only. <laughs> Now I'm clicking every link this guy posts. Alright, that's just a gif. Alright, that's that's Who not wants fun. to put dick in my gay faggot pansy femme fuck gay girl <laughs> hippo butt? <laughs>
<laughs> oh, this user's account has been banned. Shit. You were banned? No, not me. Somebody I clicked on. <laughs> Which which was like Damn. some psy- some psychedelic pink wolf licking a giant purple dildo. So I had high <laughs> hopes. Same. Dragon princeling looking for a sub to have some fun with a sub, preferably a Neka Mimi or pure feline. Oh, oh most pieces will do just fine. Oh my god, ghost has been ghost has been no to be quite the good house cat, even though his body is the size of a hippo or larger. <laughs> He's quite friendly to others unless they try to hurt him, which would be a very bad thing on their part. Hippos of dangerous alone without the claws and teeth. So pissing off a lion of his sizes would be a very bad idea. Sometimes been seen in his bear or wolf form from time to time, and has been known to be blind, which it about six times out of ten, though he can still see his ability to see souls and lift force energy. Of if course. You, if you really <laughs> nice to him, if you really nice to him, or just bond up his paws, he can become quite the cum dump for any cock that wishes to fill his bulky form. <laughs> cock mouth. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> what? No one's going to respond, and I'm going to get banned, and it's going to be dumb. I know, but... I couldn't resist the jacket. Anybody good at playing multiple dicks? I need all the dicks and gallons of cum right now. Male feral husky, formerly anthro, searching for anthro mother, big sister, or little sister to knot and knock up. Oral knotting and cute short females, corgis especially, are both loved. And Brian the Bull, anal sex, and that's all it says. Anybody good at playing anal multiple dicks? Sex. I need all the dicks. Filth and stuff. <laughs> Pingu. I need all the dicks and gallons of cum right, right now. now. Right now. Oh my god. It's almost 6.30. What am I doing with my life? Fuck well, skin. Lanny is a Herm Dragon who is looking for something to do. <laughs> There are many details on her profile that can answer a lot of the questions one might have, but, uh, man, this just reeks of smugness. But I will be put here what she is looking for currently. Babysitting scenes are a major want. Whether the one she is, whether the one she is babysitting is another her or just a regular female, she loves it. Ages can vary. It all depends on what her partner wants to do. Don't be scared to message me. I'm not actually all that bad when it comes to meeting new people, but please say more than just hi or hey oh there. My God. Also, you don't have to come with an idea, although it does help. I'm not looking for babysitting. It's just a favorite. Oh, and one more thing. Please do not message me if your post is not matched. Oh. Me- mm, Mel is in a specific mood, mainly looking for a fat cock. Man, I already did all that. Fuck you. This one's bad. She tightens her whole... I was gonna the read that. The attached to his collar. The Shota slash Feral slash Monsters can be felt writhing deliciously between her legs. How many hours have they spent like this? So many orgasms. And their loins were drooling in the cream of their prolonged mating. And the smell of sex pervaded the air. Mmm, is breeding not wonderful, she groaned lustfully, pursing her lips to her lover, as she ground her loins tighter and shuddered the words, Make a bitch of me. How do you shudder words? Make a bitch of me, before latching her legs against his and enjoying the sharing of their natural flavors. Yeah, it's like that. Message me. <laughs> the hint is in the name. Check out my just kicks saw and the that. name is Grope Me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> grope me. You know, for somebody named Grope Me, she, he, she, whatever, sure has a lot of nose. <laughs> right? No bovines? you kidding me? What website do you think you're on? No swallowing blood feces, oh, urine, or vomit? Thigh job is a, t- it's a custom favorite. Oh, God. Hair job. <laughs> Grab some bombs <laughs> and start checking your fuck by tightly woven <laughs> I'm so happy that Ninjug is just fucking blank quoting half the <laughs> shit in this top. Oh, Ninjug's my favorite. <laughs> Milk your lactating pierced nipples while I take a lick <laughs> in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, still fine. I should be desensitized, but it's still... 
still funny. Young girl with overdeveloped breasts and a cum fetish. Anyone interested? Any girls want to be abused and degraded. Tom Gerthwood is an infamous internet porn director. He's known for his rough abuse of his girls and scenes where they break down mentally. Think you have what it takes to be a star? <laughs> <laughs> and his favorites are like, breaking down, girl loses control and has a mental and emotional breakdown. What an awful person this must be. <laughs> like, step away from the f -list and the computer and the hilarity. This guy must be such a fucking dick. Like... <laughs> Probably doesn't even talk to real people. The link below will provide all you need to know to get along with Kitty. Link coming soon. <laughs> I need a human girl, <sighs> jailbait preferred, that enjoys having your feet licked and sucked on, barefoot or preferably through socks slash nylons. Oh my god! Wimp, Wimp dick, dick Minotaur. <laughs> looking for a bully of a male who loves out fucking and making fun of losers to steal his wife and mock him about it. I don't know this <laughs> lore. Shit. What is out fucking? <laughs> a big, tall, muscular bull slash minotaur anthro with a toned stomach, a clearly defined six-pack. He looks quite intimidating. With short, gray fur, two large horns on the top of his head, a large nose ring pierced through both of his large bovine nostrils. It's obvious he's a guy you wouldn't want to bump into a fight. He wears a brown, tattered, average-looking loincloth around his waist. There's a slight problem, though. While it covers his cock, when it's soft, gotta make sure, <laughs> it does nothing to hide his big balls. It's too short for how low his nuts hang, and they must swing out in the open, sometimes smacking and sticking against his large muscle thighs. They're sometimes veiny, undoubtedly pulsing with life, his ever-present fat, heavy bull balls. Oh, They're God, those pictures. <laughs> oh, my God, the pictures. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thorax. Everyone keeps leaving this bit. <laughs> She's like, please help me. And everyone keeps leaving. Dominant? Submissive? Nah, I'm just a hedonistic. <laughs> a, a hedonistic. <laughs> Welcome to the internet. Please kill me. <laughs> what? Wax <laughs> over to Maria and say uh. <laughs> <laughs> This bitch is gonna kill you. I hope so. <laughs> Poor Maria, taking all those potions and... <laughs> She's so <laughs> horny. <laughs> oh, someone help her. Uh. <laughs> That's the best whip dick is the best cop out word I've heard in years. I know. <laughs> you whip dick minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh sweet Jesus, I don't need help. Oh today's god. Up, today's I just up. realized I had like four hundred fucking tabs open. <laughs> four hundred tabs of this? Yeah, just chat. everybody's profile and shit. <laughs> 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 fucking Thorak. <laughs> Fuck, fucking Thorak. His favorite is eye roll. Fuck me with your cunt until my eyes roll back into my <laughs> skull, please. So, like, I'm fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Basculine canine cunt boy every time. <laughs> Fucking cunt boy! <laughs> How long is this recording at? Uh, two hours and two minutes. Yeah. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to this so many times. Looking for some interesting military based RP? Please check out my profile and see if you may be interested. If so, please PM me. Click in this shit. The Nico was an enigma <laughs> on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> oh sweet Jesus! Oh God! Yeah, there's like three periods in this entire goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reading this shit. Yeah. Uh, One image. Yeah, and it's just some oh, random anime great. picture. 
Rant with fucking bl uh, Is this a morbidly obese Flareon? Oh god, please. <laughs> yes. Please be. Anybody who met him would say this Flareon is kind, tolerant, honest, and willing to please anyone. These traits make him pleasurable to anyone who he encounters. Yeah, I, I, this is disappointing, though. I really wanted more. <laughs> this appearance make it, makes him look more like a shiny Umbreon than a Flareon, but only one at such an eye can tell the difference. <laughs> Jeez, the fuck? Ah. Oh. Oh god damn it. Loaf has a topic about some shitty R Korean MMORPG. Of course he does. There's charts everywhere, Loaf. Come on. Oh, hold on. Did he just make this? Because if he's low level, we're making characters and killing him until he quits. <laughs> oh, holy. No, this is an old. Okay, it's three. I thought it was nukes. It was three pages, but he first made it in fucking October. And it's on the third page. Holy shit, this person's pictures. Oh my god. Link, 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 link. Adult link. Oh my fucking god, look at all of them. <laughs> Four oh, oh, no. oh no. There's our boy. Oh no, oh my, oh, oh god, all those all, fucking All those fucking nipples, all the breasts. And the oh, nipples. there's so many. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that fucking fat Balto? That's Balto, it's fat, fat Balto. Balto porn right there. That is what that is. <laughs> You know what? Who needs on DeviantArt? That, on, th on that note, it's 5.30 in the morning, and we could do this another time, and I absolutely intend to. Alright. This All right. has been Cam, Alex, and Willie talking fucking F-list, which is the best podcast ever. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm a cunt boy. Stacy is a he-mare of many tastes. <laughs> he didn't grow up to be as hunky as his equine name is very well known for, but he at least did get some of the height and the naturally sexy rump holes under their tails, as well as, well as a hunky horse cock. And on that note, I am ending I'm this. Done. Bri Take care. I'm doing it. One more, one more Brian right. the Bull painal rape. <laughs> it, just, it just says painal rape. Painal right. rape.